Oh sorry, I just received a confirmation message on my WhatsApp for an order I had just placed. And probably you are also getting such kind of messages on your WhatsApp. And as a business owner, you are wondering how you can reach out to your customers in the same way. Well, if this is the case, you are at the right place. In this video, we have got you covered and believe me that automating WhatsApp for your business requirements is not a rocket science. It is as simple as you need it to be. And the good news is Pavli Connect offers you a variety of API integrations to automate WhatsApp to support your customer services, sales and marketing efforts. So welcome to a new video on how to automate your WhatsApp for your business requirements using Pavli Connect. Now before jumping into the automation workflow, let me show you what are the platforms and application Pavli Connect offers you to integrate with to connect with WhatsApp's API and automate it. So the first application or the platform Pavli Connect offers you is Facebook's own cloud API platform. So Facebook has already launched its own cloud API setup for automating WhatsApp for businesses and we have integrated it with uh, our automation workflows and guys I'm going to paste the link of the video on which we have clearly explained how you can set up WhatsApp's cloud API platform for your business requirements. Next application we are providing is Interact application. So Interact is also a WhatsApp's API provider by which you can send automatic transactional and promotional messages on WhatsApp. Next is 360 dialog which is a similar application like Interact. Then we have online live support application to create a chatbot to provide live support to your customers. Then we have AI Sensei, a very good tool to get the access of WhatsApp's API and to automate your business requirements. And Vadi. Vadi is also a popular API provider of WhatsApp which you can integrate with using Pabli Connect for your business. Now let me show you how you can connect one of these application inside your automation workflow. So this is the dashboard of Pavli Connect and from here by clicking on this create workflow button you can create your workflow page and this is how the page is going to look like. Okay, here you will find the basic building blocks of our automation which are the triggers and the actions. So guys trigger is that event which starts our workflow and the action is the automated response of the trigger. Here guys you can connect any application from where you want to trigger the workflow. For example, if you want to send messages directly from your Google Sheet on adding a new row, you can connect with Google Sheets here and in the action window, you can connect with any WhatsApp API provider and as and when you are going to add any new row in Google Sheets, the workflow is going to trigger and send the WhatsApp message automatically. Okay. That's how you can create automation workflows. Here guys in the action step you can connect with so you can trigger the workflow from any application and the action would be to send a message. Now to send a message on WhatsApp here I am going to show you the demo of interact application. You can search for WhatsApp's cloud API. Here is cloud API. Here is 360 dialog. Here is AI Sensei. Here is WhatsApp by WA team online live support, what rise and we have many applications related to WhatsApp. Okay, so you can use them all just by searching WhatsApp here. Right now I'm going to show you interact. Okay, so I'm searching for interact. Here it is. Okay, and the action event I'm going to use is send WhatsApp template message. Okay, select this option, click on connect button. From here select add new connection and here it will ask for a secret key of interact application to make this connection between our workflow and interact. So guys you can read the instructions. You need to go to the settings page of interact and under the developer settings of interact account you will get this key. Okay. So you can just directly click on this link if you are logged in in interact or what you can do go to your interact applications dashboard like this. From the bottom side, bottom left hand side you will find the settings option, click on it. Here you will find the settings option again, click on settings. And here you will find the developer settings page, click on it. And here you will find the secret key that you want. 
So click on copy and paste the key here in this field and then click on save and you will be connected with interact like this. Okay. Then it will ask for the country code, the phone number and the full phone number. So guys, if you, you can map the data that is incoming from any trigger application. For example, you have connected with Google Sheet or Jotform or any other application. Whenever uh, and you have received the data here in the trigger, you can map the data here in these steps. Just by clicking here, the previous step will appear in the drop down, and from here you can map the data. Or what you can do if you want to receive notifications on your number, let's say you can just fill your number here in this full phone number field exactly in this same format and you will be able to receive the messages automatically. Okay, so you just have to follow the instructions. You your number should include a plus sign and a country code 91 is for India. You have to mention your country code. Okay, then you can fill this number like this. Okay, then it will ask for the template code name. So guys, to send messages using the template messages, you need to create the templates beforehand in interact application for any purpose. Okay, so let me show you my interacts applications dashboard. Here is the template section you can see. Okay, and here are the templates library with the help of which you can create the templates here you can see for commerce for services for education, they have many templates. Let me show you my active templates that I, that I have created. Okay, here you can see guys in this uh, uh, templates page, I have created an invoice template. And here you can see in this invoice template, uh, whenever you can you create a template, it will ask to select a header. If you want to send any document, you can send a document, you can send a video, you can send an image or text in the header. In the body, you can type the message that you want to send. Here you can see it is showing hi, and here is a uh, here is one curly braces under which we have uh, written one. This is called a body variable. Okay, this means you can place some data here dynamically with every new message that you're sending on WhatsApp. So it is saying, please find attached the monthly invoice of our services. Let us know for any issues. Okay, and the footer it is written team interact. You can attach a call to action button as well if you want some call to action. Okay, so here's how you can create a template. Just submit it to get it approved from interact. Then you will be able to use the uh, templates here in the workflow. Here you can see guys, it is asking for the templates code name. So guys, you just have to open the template. Oh, sorry, here inside uh, uh, the inside the interact and here you can see this is the code name we have of the template you can just copy it and place it here or here you can see you can see in the instructions as well whenever you open the template the in the top url you can get the code name as well from here also you can code the uh, you can get the code name okay this is the same code i have pasted here here then it will ask for the language code so in which language you have written the template you have to mention it here in the workflow it is in english right here so i'm going to mention english language code which is en okay for normal english and for us english the code is en underscore us you can check the course here by clicking on this link here is the list of the course you can read it from here okay now guys coming back to the workflow and here it is asking for the header value. So as I have shown you in the template, you can see we can send a header and the sample attached here is a PDF file. Okay. So guys, you have to paste the publicly accessible URLs of any file that you want to send. So you can get the publicly accessible URL using this image kit tool. Okay. Or you can just upload your documents on your WordPress website from there you can get the publicly accessible URL or from your Google Drive okay and you have to place the URL here then here it is asking for the body variable values okay so right now we have one body variable here in which uh, you can place the name of the person uh, to whom you are sending the message so whatever the value you are going to put here is going to be uh, placed in the message and will be sent okay and if you are mapping the value of body variables from the 
trigger the mapped values are going to be updated automatically every time you are going to send a message here it is asking for the position of CTA button you can select it from here and you can put the redirection link of the CTA button here and then you can check your connection with your WhatsApp by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be delivered to the number that you have placed here okay so this is how you can connect with WhatsApp's API using interact in a similar fashion you can connect with all other applications as well so if you want to see the demo let me place my whatsapp number here then i'm going to click on save and send test request button in front of you and so you'll you'll see a live demo of a message so guys i have filled the header value in which i have uh, pasted a publicly accessible link of a media file here in the body variable i have written mr new okay and this is my whatsapp i have opened it here okay now i'm going to click on save and send test request button and let's see if we receive a new message i'm clicking on save and send test request button so guys we have received a response here and let's check in our whatsapp if we got a new message and here you can see guys i have received a new message and the message is this it is showing hey mr new please find attached the monthly invoice or services here we have a call to action button here we have the file attached the pdf file that we have pasted here in the uh, header value this is how it is going to work guys and you have to set up these automations only once and after that it, they are going to work automatically and i'm going to paste the link of some reference videos into the description so that you can watch those videos and learn these automations by yourself